Welcome to Show Studio, welcome to Drawing Daphne. This is Angelica Rosli. Uh, she's a fashion illustrator based in London. And this is Jessica Bird. She's a Scottish illustrator based in London as well. And I wanted to start talking about how the experience of being on set um, impacted your work. What was, I think, so special about this one was the couture element to it. So it was just so cool to like have so much colour and silhouette and texture to work off. So um, it was just, it was kind of like normal, like in my opinion, but it was just more exciting. So for me, it was just like life drawing with great clothes. Um, and yeah, I do quite a lot of like backstage live Mm. illustration as well so um, quite used to that fast-paced environment of drawing a subject live in front of you. How was it different illustrating that kind of couture or that kind of garment in that kind of setup where it's more like theatrical I guess? I think for me it was more inspiring because it was going back to something that I quite enjoyed with illustration which was more of a reportage style so just kind of like drawing something in a moment and then like drawing a pose as opposed to like just mm -hmm. someone mm -hmm. standing so it was really more in the moment yeah like mm -hmm. directly responding to what's in front of you and um yeah i think actually being there with the dancers and the lights and the confetti and everything you can directly respond to that like i did a drawing um one of them with some of the confetti from the floor i like painted that onto a piece of paper and then um, like rub that off and then work that into the piece so yeah obviously things like that you wouldn't get I loved that one actually okay. that was so, <laughs> I loved that one it was so um, cool a lot of my work um, is the energy and um, I don't tend to work back into things or if I do they tend to go wrong after that but it's, yeah. it's more like what's there in that moment and capturing that it's so easy just to like ruin drawings mm -hmm. in my opinion by like doing too much I think yeah. when you get to a certain point in your with your illustration with your drawings you have to know when to stop and mm -hmm. I think that's something that I feel like we know quite well. A lot of my usual work is colourful but in that specific scenario I chose to go with the charcoal and I, I guess um, I like the charcoal because of the way it responds to your hand quite quickly. There were definitely outfits I chose, like the yellow one mm. with the purple, where you, you can't not draw the colour in those. It was a given. That yeah. I, had to, I think I did a few of those as well at different scales, like I did some at like A3 and A2, but then I think mm. the ones that we actually went with, like this one here, yeah. the A4, which was I think the um, ink and uh, coloured pencil, but there was so, even, even though I prefer colour, mm -hmm. I think that like the ones that were monochrome still had a lot of like iridescence to them. Yeah. So it was so easy to kind of like get that, you know, shine and like, you know, that dimension in mm -hmm. the drawing. So yeah, it was, um, I mean, all the looks were amazing, yeah. to be honest. And there was a lot mm -hmm. of monochrome looks as well. Yeah. Um, the charcoal for me is just more of a, um, like a quicker response. Yeah, I, guess. I uh, loved the community element mm -hmm. because it's so true, we're in our studios, by ourselves yeah. a lot of the time or completing projects commissions by ourselves mm -hmm. or you know being a fashion illustrator I think there's a lot of solitude in yeah. that job that we experience so just to be on set with mm -hmm. everybody and have this like shared experience yeah. of drawing together because I think we in my opinion we don't really get that since maybe fashion school or art school yeah. or wherever we came from where we're it's not very common yeah it's not common so that was my absolute favourite favourite part of yeah. it. Yeah, and it, it creates such a good energy and I think like we kind of gave each other some feedback or yeah. like responded to each other's drawings, um, which you don't you don't really get when you're working alone. It can be yeah. really lonely, but I think those of us who've been maybe, you know, working professionally as artists mm -hmm. for let's just say five to ten plus years, it's something you get used to, like mm -hmm. you're used to your own thoughts, you're used to yeah. critiquing yourself and that's what I meant about the community because it's just support at the end of yeah. the day. So. And I think we do have mm. such a good community, like yeah. considering we are essentially direct competitors for work with each other, like it's super supportive, 
Yeah, um, yeah. I say this. A, I say this to a lot of people. Yeah. I feel very lucky to mm -hmm. have this um, group. It's so true. We are technically competitors, yeah. but I really don't think we all see it and feel it mm -hmm. as such. I mean, it is what it is at the yeah. end of the day, but because it's different in our um, profession because we're all so different. Yeah. And if we get a job, it's because of what we do mm -hmm. specifically. So I think we were all chosen for what we do, yeah. for, you know, for this exhibition. So it was just like a coming together of the talent. Really. Yeah. And I think that was also so exciting at the drawing mm -hmm. Daphne, like live experience was seeing how each artist responded to the same look yeah. um, in real time and walking mm. around after we'd finished that look being like, what, what have they done? What have they yeah, done? like what pose did you do? Yeah, like, yeah. What angle did you, of course we were all sitting like on different sides, but mm -hmm. it's kind of like, you know, on Instagram, like when it's fashion week and we all, yeah. we would all maybe do one, like everyone does the same collection, mm -hmm. but to see that same look or same collection in diff with different responses is yeah. so cool. Originally, maybe on the first day, um, I did feel a little bit like, oh, I should be using more colour, I should be doing this, and this person, they're doing that, and they're yeah. doing that. And um, then I settled into it and was like, I use charcoal, I should just use charcoal and just do what I do and do the kind of quick, sketchier ones. Mm -hmm. I, I was able to come back to my uh, my original medium, which is yeah. inks, yeah. and then but just you, because I usually use inks in the studio alone because mm -hmm. there's like so much going on with that, and you know with the um, with the calligraphy nibs as well, mm -hmm. and like getting to use those on set, but in more of a like quick environment yeah. was I think like the challenge for me, but mm -hmm. still be able being able to create something. Yeah, that I would, but maybe with a bit more energy. Yeah, I feel, which is something I love in my work so much mm -hmm. is like the energy of it. So that was, I think it was a ch it, that there were a lot of challenges with it, and it's like a certain amount of space and things yeah. like that. But I think the results were really fruitful yeah. and like really worth it. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a merging of your usual live style because we both do a lot of live portraits yeah. in like event situations. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we've both found things that work for us in that yeah. like quick 10 minute yeah. portrait style. Because you do have to like hone your materials and what kind of style you do yes. for that situation. And each time it's sometimes different. But then to merge that style of drawing live with the style you use at the studio when you have more time and mm -hmm. space and materials, mm -hmm. it was kind of like that situation because we had two or three days um, and space and mm. uh, the time to play about a bit more. Yeah, but also I think more so with that, in like in, in terms of like that, you know, maybe a live drawing or work environment to the studio to being on set, mm -hmm. you know, with Daphne and Nick was like, what made me really realise the difference in mood when I'm drawing as well yeah. because when you're in your studio, you can be in whatever mood you're in mm -hmm. on your own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm sure you know exactly what I mean. Mm -hmm. And then you can do, you know, maybe draw through like how you're feeling, but there was like such a positive vibe on yeah. set and like a positive vibe among us and like being able to like chat before mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So I think the mood of the drawings on set for me was so different to like, say if mm -hmm. I had just done it in my studio. Yeah, that's so mm -hmm. true. I love the possibilities of digital drawing and I think mm -hmm. it's something that I've just had a lot of fun with and then of course drawing you know during the pandemic like being in lockdown that was yeah. like a really like something I really kind of took to a lot more around that time but drawing on set knowing it was a traditional space yeah. was at first daunting but I got over that quite quickly I was like it's time to go back to yeah this. I was excited to <laughs> see you doing that's like your work that's like, like the like first that. thing you said to me yeah <laughs> came on set <laughs> and just like coming in with like the materials and I was like this is like home honestly mm -hmm. and then being around everybody that's why I even mentioned like being at LC, like being at LCF is mm -hmm. being in fashion school or art school it just it really felt back to basics but mm -hmm. in a more advanced way yeah in a you know I'm not 21 anymore kind of <laughs> yeah. kind of way and like being able to push my skill now mm -hmm. and you know being like given that no I wouldn't even call it a challenge it's just really an opportunity yeah to shift because mm -hmm. I do love shifts from time to time how do you think the subject has come to life in the exhibition with all the artworks together and like the contrast of 
all of you reinterpreting the same thing in different ways. Just it's a different energy um, yeah. between those live pieces and the ones created afterwards or from the film. Yeah, I think especially Connie's and Cliff's mm -hmm. and yours in particular have this like this is just like you can tell it was just done like in yeah. the moment for sure yeah um i think it's maybe the style of your work mm -hmm. in particular as well it's and you guys tend to go a bit bigger but yeah yeah i think there was there was that but even with um what sam was saying about you know his like sketches and i just i've never seen any of his sketches before yeah me and neither I, and i just fell in love with them i was yeah. like why don't why haven't i seen these before these are so cool yeah they're amazing like there's energy in that and i think there's something about the setting this is what i meant about like the kind of mm -hmm. the studio versus drawing live and i find that with um doing like live fashion shows i do the backstage because i want to capture my own images mm -hmm. or capture a moment that's not taken by a backstage photographer mm -hmm. or the Vogue runway shot at mm -hmm. the end or, you know, mm -hmm. like, um, so I think it's, it's good to be able to kind of edit and like curate your own yeah. image and your own composition. Do you prefer drawing like, um, like silhouette more or do you prefer more of like a makeup, like close, like close-up mm. facial drawing? I think a mix. It depends what's going on, mm. I guess. With I, I do love a hair and makeup mm -hmm. crop. Um, mm -hmm. And like on, on the drawing Daphne, there was amazing yeah. um, like hair, like the kind of... The curl, Marcel. Like, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, the wave and the red and then the kind of... Was it like silver at one point? Yeah, it was like, like silver. Different different yeah yeah that was um so i mean that was like amazing to draw yeah um like super robotic like yeah uh, it was kind of like 1920s marcel mm, wave meets like yeah. futuristic mm -hmm. it was so cool because so I, like that. I just it was it's just been interesting to see what everyone's picked mm -hmm. to focus on because i think i was having a massive moment with like the silhouette of yeah of you know like the body and things like that because that's like home for me mm -hmm. but especially on like paper and traditional but when I get digital I really prefer makeup and yeah. the face yeah I'm really enjoying different poses yeah and like the body and like angles and things mm -hmm. like that so I think that is that's where I'm at at the moment because I naturally draw like quite long elongated bodies yeah um after just that's the way I've practiced drawing my mm -hmm. life. That's where my style is. So yeah. that was, I think I was qu quite well placed. On yeah, there was, <laughs> there was a lot of great hands a from lot Daphne. Of hands. So yeah, for us, we quite like to draw the like, yeah. elongated hand. But actually, I great. will say this year, on that note, I really got into hands. Me too. There was something about this, I think like a lot of like that detail, but yeah. um, this time, I, everybody knows that like, it takes so long to be able to draw mm -hmm. like hands and feet. And I think I was talking about your feet drawings last week. <laughs> Yeah. Um, I got into hands a lot more mm -hmm. since that and just like maybe like finger placement and things like that mm -hmm. but in a fashion illustration sense where it's a bit more like unusual and not in yeah. a like realism sense. Yeah, yeah more just suggestive. Did you have a favourite mm -hmm. look? This one here was my favourite look and um, I think because it was again like a really tight silhouette mm -hmm. but it was so iridescent so there was lots yeah. of like um, Jeweling and detail applique on yeah. it. So, and then that was like that red Marcel hair yeah. as well. So that was there was something about that. I did so many drawings of that, mm -hmm. and even ones that I didn't hand in. So there's still a few of those in my studio. And yeah. then I'm sorry, I drew the disco ball a lot. I know that's not a look. Yeah, same. <laughs> Drawing the disco ball and like getting that iridescence, and then like the dancer at the mm -hmm. end on the on the disco ball yeah. was really cool. The curation and styling yeah. was. Delicious. Yeah, like, great angles to draw. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. And that, you can get that line. Mm -hmm. It is making me want to draw again, talking about it. <laughs> but yeah, inspired. Very inspiring. Yeah.